So we've been concerned for many years around personal data, um, the way we're sharing on the internet, and whether that introduces us to any kind of security and privacy risk, or the people we associate with, or the organisations that we work for. And of course, um, the importance of surveys such as, th as this one is that we can really put some social science and some clean data behind our understanding of what's happening. And it should come as no surprise to any of us that, of course, our perceptions towards privacy um, and the internet will be evolving over time. Uh, we constantly evolve, don't we? Um, but one of the observations that I personally make um, when I've read this most recent report is this, that, and in fact, the title I find particularly inspirational, because, of course, in some respects, we are potentially living in an age of a trust bubble. And what I mean by that is, we have concerns and we have valid reasons for these concerns. People are having their personal data exploited um, sometimes and people are being targeted based upon what they've said and shared on the internet, sometimes for very nefarious reasons. Whilst at the same time, there's all these potential benefits that come to us as citizens of cyberspace, both in terms of the way in which it promotes democracy, the way in which it's allowing us to discover new insights about our environments, and the potential it holds for solving some of the greatest challenges that we face as a human race. Um, so we have both fr fragility and vulnerability, and this increasing dependence. And in spite of our concerns, of course, we all continue to engage. So we do trust. And, and the question I ask myself is, can we turn this trust into something that's solid, well understood and well supported? Or do we really face a bubble that one day may go pop and the consequences could be quite severe? If people disengage from the internet for some reason, would we be able to even turn back the clock? And how would we recover a situation where suddenly whole swathes of people were uh, unable to take advantage or take part in some of the more critical areas that we engage with on the internet. So, so we do need to be cognizant of this. And in a way, we need to stand up to this challenge. It's not one of those challenges where we can wait for things to go wrong in order to respond. We need to do so now and properly engage. And one of the other findings of this report is, of course, we're not of single mind when you look across the globe. We have different fears different levels of confidence. Some of us believe and assume that the state is monitoring um, the internet. Some of us believe that it's the state who has a role in governing use of the internet. In other parts of the world, some of us are quite fearful of that equation. And so this diversity of feeling must somehow be reflected and supported by the mechanisms we put in place to ensure that we sustain a cyberspace that's there for all of us. And there's some really key elements to that piece. Um, one of them has to be that we need a way of personally taking control of our personal data and how it's being used and who it's being used by. Some notion of dynamic consent where we remain engaged rather than this rather brittle, I put it out there and, and, and that's the end of it. Um, and there may be an upside to this in the sense of if I'm more engaged with my personal data, then maybe it's going to be of higher value to those who would process it to discover these new solutions that we so greatly need. Um, but perhaps the point I would like to close on is um, when we look to the solutions of how we're going to maintain trust in the internet and maintain freedom of expression, protect people's rights whilst at the same time discovering these new drugs, discovering how to live in a world of unpredictable climate, etc. then we really will end up having to bring different stakeholders to that table. The answer cannot be that traditional notions of state and governance are the solution to the 21st century. So much of the internet is in the, in the hands of IT companies, industry, and so much of the information and the data that we share is also in the hands of every single one of us. And ultimately, only a multi-stakeholder approach to sustaining cyberspace and the internet 
is really going to work.